Hello again, everybody. Mental Fox here with another episode of Horizon Zero Dawn. Thank you for joining me again. Well, you, you may notice that uh, I am in a different location than I was at the end of the last episode. As a matter of fact, uh, we are here in a place called Cut Cliffs, and I'll tell you why here in just a second. Uh, so before this episode, uh, when I loaded this game, uh, I was here at this campfire, and I wanted to do a bit of uh, farming or more appropriately fishing. I wanted to uh, do a little bit of fishing so that I could get some fish bones so that I could craft some uh, more carry capacity and I needed some fish bones for that. So I started my game and I ran down here to this water and there's no stinking fish in this water. <laughs> there's, there's none here. You'd think there'd be fish here but nope no fishing here. I even ran up here and looked in here and there's no fish in there either so that kind of sucked. Uh, so then what I did is I fast traveled up here to Bright Market because uh, I do remember that there were fish here and so I did a bit of fishing and um, in resources here you'll see that I've got let's see is this where they are in resources I have uh, some fish skin and I have four fish bones I also did a bit, little bit of hunting and I got some turkey bones and fox bones and rat bones and rabbit bones and boar bones uh, so that I could upgrade my stuff. Okay, so I did all that and Then I traveled here to cut cliffs and the reason I did that is because I just simply wanted to travel to some place Where I could get easy accent to a merchant and there's a merchant right here right by this campfire So I fast travel here There's a merchant right here and the reason I want to be by a merchant is because when I craft this uh, extra carry capacity I'm going to want to buy outfits um, So we're gonna go here and this is the outfit satchel. This is what I want to craft this upgrade. This gives us plus five. So we're going to craft that. And then, cool, we'll go ahead and, and up this plus 15. So that's kind of nice. That's that's the most we could carry outfit-wise. Um, what else can we upgrade? We could upgrade our uh, blast sling. Sure, why not? I use blast, the blast sling. This is going to use a rabbit skin and a rat bone. Crafted that. Ooh, we could get this all the way up, too. Yeah, screw it. Let's do it. Okay. And then, um... I don't use my Tripcaster very often. This will use a turkey bone and a fox skin. And the sling ammo patch will use a fish bone and fatty meat. So I could up this. And I could up this. Okay, now I'm going to need a boar skin to get that up. And I need a rat bone again. Um... Okay, that's kind of cool. So we did a little bit of, uh... Upgrading our carry capacity. And uh, now that I've done that, oh, by the way, you can see it says completed errand. I had completed an errand, or I could create an errand for my satchel upgrade, hoping it would tell me where fish were, but it didn't. Uh, but anyway, that's what you just saw there. So I'm going to trade with this merchant, and I want to, um, for for reasons I'm not 100% sure, sure of, I want to buy every outfit. I just want to have them all. And so that's what I'm going to do here. Uh, we should be able to carry all of them, at least I think so. So we're gonna, I'm going to buy this Nora Silent Hunter Heavy. Uh, but I'm not going to equip it. And then we're just, I'm just going to go through here and buy all of these. I don't know, maybe I'll get a, a an achievement or something. But I don't know, I just want to add them to my collection. I'm really, really role-playing Aloy here. You know, she, she really likes uh, outfits, so um, she's going to buy them all. And maybe if I feel like it, you know, I may, as I approach other enemies, uh, I may put on the appropriate gear for fighting them. Like if I'm facing something like a glint hawk that shoots freeze blobs at me, I'll put on um, this, this ice hunter heavy, maybe, you know, maybe I'll do that. I don't know. We'll see what happens. So I bought every, every outfit that at least this merchant sells, I, I guess there's a possibility that there are other outfits sold by other merchants that I don't have yet. I don't know whether it's true or not. Um, but it doesn't look like I'm going to get any trophy or anything for that. How many outfits do we have right now? Let's see, if I look in uh, inventory outfits... Wow, you can see uh, down there in the lower left-hand corner, it says 29 out of 35. So I think there are still more outfits to find out there somewhere. Weapons, we're at 25 of 35. So does that mean there's 10 more weapons out there still that I haven't found either? Interesting. I don't know. Uh, resources, I sold off a bunch of resources to a different... Um, 
uh, uh, merchant also before I started recording. So I did, I did a bit of uh, housekeeping. So what are we going to do in this episode? Well, I think what I want to do is I want to go into this cauldron that I mentioned at the end of the last episode. There is a cauldron right here. Uh, let's go here. There is a campfire here that I um, haven't activated yet. So we can't fast travel there. So that, that leaves us either here or here. Uh, let's go to this campfire and then we'll just run along this way, activate this campfire and then run on into that, um, that, uh, cauldron there. And I believe, I believe this is the last cauldron. I don't think there's any more after this. So it'd be cool to clear off the cauldrons from the map. And it'll also be cool to, uh, be able to override more machines. So maybe we'll have to, uh, take advantage of that ability a bit more as we uh, encounter more machines throughout the rest of the game. Kind of mix things up a little bit. Have the machines fight each other instead of me always having to be in the middle of a bunch of machines fighting me. So we'll, we'll give that a try. Now this uh, campfire is right near a charger site. It looked like on the map. So we'll see if we could either avoid the chargers. Whoa, there's snap malls over there. Um, or I can, uh, override a charger. The chargers are up there, actually. And that is the direction I want to go. I want to go this way. Oh, gosh, there's one right here. Let's see if we can override him. Yeah, let's override him. Oh, yeah, does that feel good? <laughs> I'm going to mount this go. guy. Here we go. And, um, let's see if I can remember how to get him to go faster. There we go. Yeah, we'll just run on past here. Uh, I want to turn right. Go up this way. You can see in the upper left-hand corner, my uh, medicine pouch is almost full. Oh, there's glint hawks here. What the hell? I was not expecting glint hawks. Nobody told me there'd be glint hawks. Oh gosh, there's lance horns here. Am I going the right way? Gosh, this place is crazy. I want to go to this uh, campfire. Excuse me, coming through. Coming through. Okay. All right. So, if I hop off of that guy, I don't know if he'll fight for me or not. Do a quick save here. Okay, so uh, that's what I want to do. Now I want to go here. So I'm going to hang a right. We're going to run this way. And uh, I'm not really interested in fighting any of these lance horns or anything around here, so. Okay, Cauldron Discover, Cauldron Zeta. Passed the test. Good job, Aloy. Huh, how come I didn't get that as a quest? Uh, I want to make this... Oh, it's not a quest yet. Okay. You need to get closer to it before it'll become a quest. Alright, you can stand up. I'm gonna run through here. Oh, look at that, right into the sun. That's a really neat effect, huh? <laughs> um, I, I keep forgetting to check... Oh, what the heck is that? Unidentified signal, powerful processing core of unknown design, source nearby. I guess that's the cauldron. Uh, we've got, oh crap, a stalker over here. And then up here, I know about the signal. What about the machine? A red eye watcher? Okay. Hmm. But anyway, I was going to say, I keep forgetting to check for, um, there's a fox up there. I keep forgetting to check for uh, data points or what oh what do we call him? Another stalker down here. Is that the same stalker I just marked? I don't know. Okay, well um let's uh let's head her head on over towards the cauldron. I'm gonna kinda stay up here and see if I can stay out of trouble. Here we go, cauldron zeta, that's what I was looking for. Uh, explore the cauldron and discover the secrets within. Let's uh, make that our quest. Find the hidden entrance as the main door is impassable. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, so right down there. Oh, and there's another stalker down there. Where'd he go? There's one. Oh, holy hell, how many stalkers are down here? 
I saw two of them walking around down there. Um, so I'm gonna guess that that is the main door they're talking about. I'm gonna take this guy out if he turns around. What have I got equipped? What? Oh, damn it! Um, let's uh, let's equip the, this thing because I know this will. Yeah, take him out with one hit. Oh darn it! Show me your eyeball, dude. No, no, no. Not this time. There we go. Okay, so that shut him up. Yeah, we got stalkers down there. It's interesting. I mark them. Then when they go invisible. I don't know. Yeah, look. His mark is gone. So I guess when they go invisible, the marks go away? Yeah, sure enough, that mark disappeared from him. Watch, let's see if this mark disappears on this one. Um, okay. I guess he's not going to go invisible like the other ones, maybe. Well, it looks to me like the mark goes away when they go invisible. So there's the door gonna be another entrance somewhere. Yep, sure enough, his thing went away. Let's see if we could kind of stay up here and avoid those um, stalkers. Gosh, they're right there. Yeah, I want to get the goodies from that Red Eye Watcher. Okay, cool. Alright, alright. Okay, I like it. Alright, stalkers are down there. I'm up here. There's the door. Oh! Ha 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 ha. I bet you this is the hidden entrance. Cool. All right. So that's kind of nice. I don't have to go down there and fight with all those stalkers down there. We'll just uh, kind of mosey on in this way. And, um... Ouch. Ouch. I'll override this door. Cool. Awesome. All right. Cool. Let's see what's in here. Okay, we found the hidden entrance. Now go to the cauldron core. Simple as that. All right, I can do that. So who built this? Did the machines build all this? This is crazy. I can't even imagine what it would be like to find something like this in real life, you know? down here we've got supply crate something there let's open the supply crate get some goodies for mint medicinal gray omen nice up? yeah stock up gonna need it uh, there's uh, another plant down there I mean, it's cool looking. Don't know what it is. Nothing I can look at or interact with, it doesn't look like. Huh, there's like a door up there. Hm. The supply crate for us. Grab a little bit of that. More, more medicine. Our pouch is full now, so that's cool. It's nice to have a full medicine pouch when you're in a cauldron. So aren't there any machines in here? Another uh, supply crate over there. Well, I'm not seeing any machines. I see some cold water. Looks like I have to go for a swim. Sorry, Aloy. I'm gonna get wet. Now oh, it's gotta be ice freaking cold, man. You know it has to be cold. Seems like it'd be really slippery, too. Okay, that looks interesting. Supply crates. Huh. Still no machines. She's gotta be cold, man. That exposed midriff there. But as far as I know, there's no, like, environmental effects. What was that? Something... Oh, maybe it was just this telling me a medicine pouch is full. I saw some words show up. Whoa. 
Okay. Oh, is this the core already? Override the core. Okay, interesting. Huh. Friendly machine. Thunderjaw. Friendly machine. Here's a couple of um, watchers. These are. What I learned in the cauldrons, I could use out here. Okay, so we got a couple of watchers. We've got a big old Thunderjaw that's showing up as friendly. But I have a feeling that once we uh, deactivate that dome that it's in, he won't be so friendly anymore. I think we should go ahead and take out these um, watchers. Just because I don't need them to be running around when I ultimately decide to um, fight this Thunderjaw. Okay, so I think that's it for them. I think. <clears throat> huh. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure that he's not going to stay friendly, right? Uh, he's got Disc Launcher. He's got a Radar. Calm down. Uh, he's got another disc launcher. The heart. What else has he got? Freeze canister. Cannon. Okay, so he's got cannons. They're weak to tear. He's got disc launchers that are weak to tear. So, I think that... What I'm going to want to do once I start fighting him is get rid of those machine or those uh, weapons very quickly. So uh, that means that I'm going to want to use a weapon that's really good at tear, right? And that would be pro. It's called Tear Blaster. Huh. The blasts of compressed air from this close-range weapon strip armor and components from machines without the need to aim precisely leaving them more vulnerable to follow-up attacks. Interesting. Let's uh, put that in a slot. I don't know. Uh, here we've got the Shadow Hunter bow. This is not my terror weapon. This is my terror weapon. This is what I'm going to use for terror. Now, the modifications that I have in there right now uh, are for more for damage than they are for terror. So let's go to crafting. And we're going to modify it. We're going to remove these. And instead, I'm going to put in tear, a 42% tear coil. And here, 41% tear. And here, a 39% tear. Okay, so this should be a super duper good tear weapon. That's cool. So we use that for tear. Another thing that I might do is what if we. Um, used our trip caster and kind of booby trapped the whole place before we even let him out of uh, his dome. That might be fun, right? So what what would be a good trip caster to use? Well, let's learn about him. Thunderjaw. Uh, his body's not weak to crap, but it's strong to shock. I don't know what that means, strength, shock. Does that mean if I shock him, I give him health or make him stronger? I'm not sure what that means. Blaze Canister, weak to fire and tear. Data Nexus is weak to everything. Disc Launcher, that's weak to tear. Freeze Canister, weak to freeze and tear. Heart, weak to everything. Power Cell, weak to shock and tear. Radar, weak to tear. Cannon, weak to tear. Tail, weak to tear. Well, it's too bad I don't have a tear trip caster or whatever you call the thing. Um, I don't know, man. Should I use free? I'm gonna, I'm gonna use them all. I'm gonna put everything down here if I can. Um, so I don't think he'll come out of there until I do this discharge pylon thing, if previous, uh, cauldrons are any indication. This discharge pylon energy emission tower of unknown design may provide access to the facility's central processor. There's one there. There's another one over there. Huh, do I have to do more than one? I'm not sure. Okay, we've got some, uh, supply crates down here. And that's probably the watcher that we destroyed. I think it's okay. I think we could go ahead and go on down. I don't think he's gonna he'll attack us until we discharge that pylon. Okay. Alright. 
So let's go ahead and uh, fill up on goodies here before we release him. And uh, we'll just kind of um, take a tour of the place. Interesting. So there's some health here, which is good, because he's probably going to do some damage to us once we start fighting him. So it's good that they're... Can I get close enough to, to this thing without getting shocked? Uh, okay, maybe not. I'll worry about that later. Um, yeah, we, we, as we fight this thing, we're going to get hurt. So it's good to know that there's some medicinal herbs down here. So here's a hidey hole for me. So I'm going to want to hide in here. That's That's been a pretty good strategy for me uh, up to this point. However, uh, this guy, he's got a radar on his back. There, right there. So I'm going to want to try to tear that off as well. Because with the radar, he'll just see me go in there. Or even if he doesn't see me go in there, he'll know I'm there because of the radar. So I want to get rid of this. There's all kinds of things that I'm going to want to tear off this guy. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. But we'll try. So let's stock up on all this. Yeah, it would be really cool if there was a... Um, a tear trip wire, you know? If I could lay that down. Have him walk through that and then have it tear all kinds of things off of him. That would be cool. Alright. So. He's facing this way right now. I don't know if this is the way he'll walk, but let's go ahead. Okay, that's the tear blaster. Um, so here's my trip wires. I got blast, I got shock, and I got fire. Let's do Blast. Maybe that'll do some damage to him. So let's try to lay some of these down. There's one. Okay, we got another one there. Okay. Uh, let's, let's, yeah. I don't know, let's just lay a bunch of these down around here. He'll walk them eventually, right? Okay, so there's one there. I have no idea if this is going to work or not, but I'm trying to, you know... Put a little thought into this, because this, you know, this may be a very difficult uh, battle. How many of these can I lay down? Hopefully, a whole bunch. Wow, this is freaking tail right there. Okay, there's another one. Let's see if we can put more. Let's keep laying down a bunch of these, man. This is pretty cool. Hopefully, they'll do some actual damage to him. Okay, there's another one. I don't know. Let's put one over here too. I hope this works, because this is a bit of prep work, and I hate the thought of doing all this prep work and then just having it do crap, and then it's for no good reason at all. Um, gosh, how many of these can I put down? Can I put even more of them down? Like, can I put another one here? And then have him walk through two of them? Sure, why not? Oh my gosh, this is gonna be insane. I hope these things don't, like, start disappearing, like, once I lay this one down, it removes the first one I put down, you know what I mean? I don't know, let's, let's just do this, man. Let's, um, let's really set him up for disaster. I wouldn't be a bit surprised, though, if uh, once I um, discharge this pylon and this dome comes down, it, di it discharges every single one of these, you know, and they do no damage. I wouldn't be a bit surprised if that happened, but we'll see. No ammo. Okay, so that's the end of that. Uh, I also have these weird, these kind of things. We could lay down, uh, some of these. Um, no ammo, it says. Oh, okay, this, I think I just lay it down. Here, I've got two, two wires there, so we'll lay one of these down over here. Man, I hope this works, because this is a lot of work. Okay, so I laid, that's a blast trap. So let's, let's lay down a bunch of these blast traps. <laughs> I don't know, man. And hopefully he'll walk through them and they'll do a lot of damage to him. Okay, I have one more of these. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, big fella. Whoa, big fella. Okay, there's one other one of those. And then what's this thing I've got? I've got one of these. I don't know what this is. It's another kind of thing. Let's lay it down. 
This is a, uh, it's just called a blast trap, so it beats me. I have rocks selected. That's not going to do me any good. Um, I don't know. We could always do this, get our health up even further. What else can we do, huh? Uh, in preparation of this fight. I mean, can I really lay down more of these? You know, maybe catch him on fire? Holy cow, how many of these is the game going to let me lay down? <laughs> I don't know, man. Huh, did I really do that crappy of a job of laying that wire down? I guess I did. Anyway, well, whatever. I don't know, man. I'm going to lay them all down. I mean, I got a bunch of them. Might as well use them, right? This is going to be awesome. <laughs> okay. The hell? Oh, whatever. Yeah, this is going to be great, man. Okay. So let me put them down. I'm going to keep putting them down. Holy cow, I have a bunch of these. Okay. I hope this works, man, after all this prep work. Okay. <laughs> um, here, let's try this. Let's see, let's... Come in there. Come in there. Oh, man. It's gonna be so awesome. Okay, so I'm out of those now. Uh, let's, um... Let's put on an outfit that's really good, because he's probably going to hit me with his tail and stuff. And let's see, what kind of outfit do I want? Um, let's see something here. Um, I'm just looking at something. So... No. I was trying to find out what these symbols mean. Okay, modify outfits. Maybe this will help me. Okay, this symbol, like a bullseye, is for resisting ranged attacks. This symbol is for res resisting melee attacks. Okay, so I want the crossed swords or spears on my uh, outfit. I think. So, uh, outfits. We're going to put on the outfit with the most crossed swords effect. Right? Hmm. Protector heavy. Gives me a little bit of stealth. Is that... Is that it? Okay. Well, I mean... Okay, this is a 10. I hope you see what I'm looking at. It says effects. Kind of not quite center bottom effects. It has little crossed swords and then a 10. And then... Um, this one has crossed swords and a 20. And then, well, that one has a 17. This one has a 30. I think this is the one I'm going to want to put on. Uh, but I don't want the stealth stuff stuff on it. Instead, or protector heavy. Instead, what I want to do is modify it, get rid of this stealth stuff. And instead, put more resist melee attacks on it. Okay. So now it has a 54. I don't know if this is the right thing to do or not, but I'm trying, man. I wish I could like go to a save now, you know, and save it because of all this prep work that I've done, you know? Pretty crazy. Is there anything else that I can do in preparation for this, you know? I mean, I could even lay down more of these, these trip wires. Look at that. I could put on even more and uh, just make it all crazy. You know what? It looks to me like some of them have, dis have disappeared. That's what it looks like to me. Because I'm pretty sure I laid down more than this. I think they've disappeared, man. I think they have. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure they have. Yeah, look at this. You know I laid some down here. Oh, crap. So they're just gone. I, I kind of thought that was too good to be true. Oh, well. Whatever, we'll see what happens. Uh, so... 
Okay, uh, I want to find... Okay, so here's the hidey hole. This is this is where I want to go. I want to get my um, tear ready. Because I'm going to try to tear off the radar. So I'm going to climb up here. Oh, gosh, I'm so nervous after all that prep work. But I'm a little annoyed because it looks like a lot of my prep work just disappeared. You know? I know I laid down more tripwires than that. Where'd they go? They just disappear? You know? I mean, just they just left the arena and they didn't go back into my inventory? I don't know. You tell me what you think. Or what you know. Alright, so... I don't really think that there's anything I could do to him right now. I mean, I'd love to... This is probably gonna rick ricochet off. Yeah, I think that probably just hit the dome and not him, you know? It's probably what just happened. Alright, here we go. Oh boy, here we go. Y'all ready for this? I sure hope I'm not forgetting anything. Okay, override. No. Override, here we go. Oh gosh, I'm so nervous. Okay, here we go. Totally missing. I'm not get okay, they're going something. Is he like kinda got the impression that he was avoiding the trip wires? Okay. I don't know if he'll be able to see me in here or not. I'm hoping he won't be able to. No, he still has his radar, doesn't he? Got it. Okay, his radar's gone. Hardly done any damage to him so far. But it's good that he doesn't see us. Um... Okay. Does he still have all of his stuff on him? Oh, the, I saw a cannon. There's still okay. He still has his cannons. Okay, okay. Hopefully he doesn't see us. Crap! I think he does. Well, maybe he doesn't. Oh, he's down. Um. Oh gosh, I might have been a mistake peeking my head out there. Get in there, Eloy. Duck down, girl. Okay, he's still walking around. Looks like some of my tripwires are still down there. Uh oh, he's walking over here. Oh, he sees me. Oh, crap. Some health. You need to move, Aloy. You need to move. Oh, look. Disc launcher. Oh, no ammo. Okay, drop it. Nice. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool, man. Okay, let's see if we can bring him over here to the other side of this arena and have him run through tripwires and such. Um, I'm going to switch to this weapon here. Oh gosh, is this like this thing works? This doesn't seem like it's going to crack. Oh, I did knock some stuff off. I did. I don't know if you saw it, but yeah, some more stuff fell off. Here's a weapon over here. I'm going to pick it up. No, not metal shards. Pick this up. God damn it. Come on now. Pick it up. Come on. Come on, pick it up. Pick it up! Pick it up, Aloy! Oh, crap. Um, oh, he's down. Oh, hell yeah. That was freaking awesome. Holy crap. That was great. That was great. I don't even need to use the rest of this weapon. Yes. All right. Well, I gotta tell you, that felt pretty good. You know, it took a bit of prep work. Um, and thank goodness it was worth it. Thank goodness all that prep work wasn't for naught. Discharge pylon. That still says it there. That's weird. Search the Thunder Jaw. Metal shards, corruption coil, handling coil, damage coil, thunder jaw, heart, echo shell, blaze, chill water sparker. Can't Take it all. Anymore. Can't carry anymore. What can you not carry? 
A corruption coil. That's something that I think I probably want, so let's drop some crap. Uh, inventory modifications. We're going to drop this green one. And this green one. Okay, and now I should be able to pick up this uh, good, better one over here. Yeah, okay, cool. Alright, you guys stay here. Uh, a little bit of health here. We're going to go ahead and grab. And we're just going to run around and pick up our well-deserved loot. Because that that was some of my best work, I think so. I think that was it's pretty well done, man. Took him out without too much trouble. There's even a fire wire left here. Get a little bit more health here. Save these for the trail. Yeah, save those for the trail, why don't you? You know, don't need them all right now. A little bit more. All right, our pouch is almost completely full again. This will fill it completely up. Okay, so our pouch is completely full. Uh, what's this on the ground over here? Echo shell. Grab that. And what else is down here? Yep, well, that's more health that we don't need. More health we don't need. And I guess that's it, right? <laughs> that was awesome, man. That was awesome. Huh, interesting. Oh, there's an invisible wall there. I, I was excited. I was like, no way. I could jump up on top of this thunder jaw and use it to jump up here, you know? But watch. There's an invisible wall. <laughs> it stops her from going that way. Oh, well. Um, man. Oh, speaking of invisible walls. Oh, something there. Okay. Well, um, so yeah, we've got the uh, discharge pylon over there. So there are no data points down here or anything? Another discharge pylon over there. Another one over there. So w there were three of them, I guess. I didn't, I didn't even notice that. I only saw the two. All right, let's go over to this thing here, and we will override it. That's what we're here to do. We are here to override the core. This is awesome, man. This is the final cauldron. Now, I may be getting a little too excited. I don't know. Maybe this cauldron's, like, backwards. Maybe the tricky part is getting out. Okay, we go. Oh! Information to help me override more machines. Okay, cool. All right. Information, she said. Zeta overrides available. Nice. Now override Thunderjaw. What? Hephaestus is the source of the cauldron data intrusion. Hephaestus? What are you talking about? Deadlier and deadlier year by year. What the heck is she talking Why? about? And what or who is Hephaestus? The hell? Another mystery to add to the list. Okay. Core log 231L. Uh, active production oversight analysis, additive manufacture type, intrusion source external, countermeasure phase shift, countermeasure failed, main production external override, main production downloading, additive manufacture type, main armament enhance, and a bunch of those, and then main production initiating, okay, and there's another one here, I guess, I don't know if I missed this one before or if it's new. Uh, summary, active countermeasure diagnostic worm.nxt, trace, trace intrusion detect successful, trace result, Hephaestus. Okay, there's Hephaestus. I don't know how she saw that, but whatever. Would have made more sense for her to say that stuff after I read this, but hey, whatever. So, Hephaestus, infiltrate intrusion retrieval successful, command template acquired, decode initiate successful, result, encroachment threat human, result, fauna threat high, Flora threat high, biosphere threat high, directive cull. So got a directive to cull. Production override initiated, all other priorities rescinded. Okay. All right, well, that's all of the text data points from machines. That's kind of cool. Daybreak. Yesterday's gone. Yesterday's gone. Who talks like that? I'm going to start talking like that. Well, yesterday's gone. All right. Well, that was pretty cool, man. I don't know why this thing is going back to this ancient arm. Whoa, there's uh, stalkers out there. This ancient armory um, quest. I mean, unless there's a, a power cell around here somewhere that I'm not seeing. 
Cauldron Core Advanced Processing Core of Unknown Design likely serves as the central control of this facility. I don't think I could override it again and go back down inside of it. But I need to be careful because there are um, stalkers right there and... Man, I don't want to fight stalkers. Stalkers suck. Oh, I could probably override them now though, can't, couldn't I? Of course, sneaking up behind them is a different story entirely. And then when they're invisible like that, I can't do anything with them. So... Wait, let's try something. Let's save something that I've never done. Uh, I'm gonna go in here to my inventory and my weapons, and I'm gonna see if I have a weapon that'll do um, corruption, and I'll see if I could corrupt one of those machines out there and have it fight for us. Wow, I didn't see a single thing that f shot corruption arrows, did you? Nothing. None of them do. So, am I not able to do anything corrupting? Huh. Hmm. Oh, okay, it's that green stuff. So this Shadow War Bow, we put him in a slot. Quip. And now, if we go to crafting, and we'll take, we'll get rid of these freeze things for now. Oh, for crying out loud, my modification inventory is full. All right, before I remove those, select. Uh, I'm going to put in a corruption coil. Okay, now I can remove this one, and now I can put a corruption coil in there. And then remove this one, and corrupt. Okay, uh, this should be interesting. I don't know if that's, this is going to work, but we're going to give it a shot. Literally. I'm going to see... If I could shoot one of them. I don't think I could shoot them when they're invisible. Holy hell, how many of them are there? Alright, so as soon as one of them becomes available, available, visible, I go and shoot it. Uh, I kind of want to hide behind this. Alright, so one of you doofuses, show yourselves. I don't know if I can shoot this far. Just stay out of their way for now. Okay, so he's corrupted, I think. Is he fighting the other machines? Come on, fight him. That's what you're supposed to do when you're corrupted. Holy hell! He's chasing him in here! <laughs> can they not come in here? What's he doing? Alright, this is not working at all. Well, maybe he did a little bit of damage to him. These things. Holy hell, looks like if I shoot him once, that's it. No, don't fight me, you're supposed to fight the other machines. Okay, so, I mean, I've corrupted all of them. I thought that meant that they would fight each other. That's what I thought it meant, but hey, I guess maybe I'm wrong. Alright, let's just run out of here and get the hell out of the way from all these losers. Let's run through this neat little arch. Okay, well, um, all right. Let's just run back over here to this, um, hey, look, hell. Helpful. Holy hell. Holy hell. Save. All right. Um, well, I was, huh, so corruption maybe doesn't work the way I thought it did. Where did it tell me what corruption does? Right here, uh, in the right-hand column. Weapons can have the following statistics, which can be added or affected by using modifications. And then there's corruption. Target attacks anyone. Well, maybe that includes me. Maybe he was too close to me. But I really didn't get the impression that these guys were fighting each other. Oh. So he's corrupted. So he's corrupted as well. Okay, that hurts. Stop it. Uh, I'm not real sure about this strategy. I mean, he's still corrupted. You know? Where'd he go? Okay, he's... No, he's not dead. Boy, their, their shots are annoying. Where'd he go? 
better take some health. Okay, he's down. He's shooting me. It's not cool, man. Whoops. Okay. Oh, he fell down. So, um, I, I'm, I would imagine there's probably a smarter way to fight him, but I'm just, I just want to kill him and get it over with. You need to hold the crap still, dude. All right, he's down. Oh crap, we got other machines over here. Maybe if I switch back to uh, these, I could get these machines to fight against each other over there. Where is he? There he is. I shot a tree. Oh, missed him. Not dead yet. Almost though. Cool, it's down. All right, let's go get our goodies. Some stuff from that stalker. Lots of beeping going on out here. Some goodies from him. Alright, cool. Okay. Well, I gotta tell you, pretty satisfied with the way that uh, cauldron went. That went pretty well. So, it just goes to show that take a little bit of time prep work. Oh, I don't want them to see me. Take a little bit of time to prepare and it's worth it. Ah, oh, crap. Man, I don't want to fight these guys. Let's see if we can get him to fight his buddies. Let's see. So the, there's a bunch of um, lance horns over there. They should be fighting each other now. Uh, oh, holy sh... Mankeys. Are you guys going to fight each other or not? I'm not really getting the impression that you're fighting each other. Okay, now they're fighting each other. There we go. There we go. I don't think that one's uh, lived for much longer. Okay. I must have missed him. Oh hell, I can't seem to corrupt this guy. There we go. Now he's corrupt. <laughs> so those two are corrupt. <laughs> they should fight each other. They should. Yeah, he's charging up. Oh yeah, they're fighting each other. Yeah, they're fighting each other, alright. There they go. Problem is, I'm going to be left with this behemoth being alive. And I'm not sure how I feel about that. It didn't quite work out the way I wanted it to. Oh my. I'm gonna die right here. Being stupid. Are they still fighting each other? Is that one still alive? I don't think it is, is it? Um, so to take down a behemoth, let's bring up our notebook here. Behemoth. Right here, Behemoth, his body is weak to nothing. That's weak to nothing. Freeze canister, which... It, okay, these I can actually hit. Because they're like little... I don't know, antennas on his butt. So let's switch to freeze. Which is funny, because I think I just changed my freeze bow to a... Um, corruption bow. But we'll change it back. Yeah, No, a tear, this is tear... This is it. So I want to take this one and we're going to change it back. We're going to clear this slot. We're going to change it back to freeze. Clear. Freeze. Clear. Freeze. Okay, so this should be good at freezing now. And I'm going to craft some freezies and I got it. So, I want to... I don't think I got it. Well, I mean, maybe I should just let him walk away. Right? Maybe I should. Man, maybe, he, maybe he'll just go away. 
kind of want to go out there and loot all that stuff, though. Oh, crap, he's coming back. He's like, oh, man, I, I dropped my keys. What the crap? If you come over here... I think I'm hitting him where I want to hit him. There we go, that worked. Okay, so now I think if I switch to this... I don't know, man. And I guess it's doing more damage to him with him frozen. Uh -huh. Still gonna take a lot to kill him, though. Yeah, okay. One more damage, 180 per arrow. While he's still frozen. Oh, he's down. Hmm. There he goes. Cool. I oh, mean, I feel like a pro now. Well, now we can loot all our stuff. This is great. Okay. Full already. And we can't pick up any more corruption coils, though. These are just green ones, though. What's he got on him? A 57% handling coil. Kind of want that. Although I never use handling coils, but we'll we'll drop this. Wait a minute, let me get away from him. Drop my stuff over here so I don't accidentally pick it up again. Uh, so, inventory modifications. We'll drop this one. And... Get rid of these 7% things. What's the weakest? Let's see. Hmm. I don't know, I have a lot of corruption ones. I don't know if I need that many more of them, to tell you the truth. Well, I made a, I made a few slots, right? Search the behemoth. Pick that stuff up. Uh, these guys just have green things on them. I don't need those. And uh, this right here is a shell walker. Get some stuff from him. You know, that wasn't bad all, all around. Not bad at all. Yeah, not too shabby, if I may say so myself. Uh, let's go ahead and pick these up, and maybe I'll sell them at a merchant. Okay, we're full. All right, well, I'm going to save my game here. Thank you for joining me on this play session. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, won't you let me know by leaving a like or a comment. And if you are not a subscriber, won't you please consider subscribing. Thank you guys so much for watching. I sure do hope you join me again in the next episode.